hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I think we'll ring Big V today. What do you reckon? We'll have Big V on the channel. How are you doing? I'm good, mate, how are you? Come on, alright, what are you on with? I'm uh, eating the bacon and egg sandwich with my coffee in my hands. Yeah? Yeah, man. What is it? Uh, yeah, just sort of on the way through it now, so have yourself. I'm alright. Falling on, as you do. Falling on, mate. That's it. <laughs> so, mate, I've got some questions for you for today's interview. Go on, then, yeah. What do you think about of the current situation with Joshua and Fury? Joshua and Fury, what? With Joshua's leg brace or Fury? Doing fitness videos in his front room. Overall, mate. Oh, all of it. Thing, what do I think to a lot of it? Yeah, I think they'll keep them apart and keep them earning as much money as they can. Yeah. That's what I think they'll do. I think Joshua's credibility is shot to bits. He's not worthy of a 50-50 with Tyson Fury, in my opinion. I think Tyson Fury is the number one in the world, and he's got the best belt, he's got the ring belt, he's won everything all across the board, and he's not been beat. Joshua's been knocked out, and he fought like a rabbit. Sorry, he looked like a rabbit in headlights in his last fight. And For me, I don't think Matchroom are going to let their cash cow get served up. 100% mate, I, I totally agree with you on that. I think all of this um, bullshit that the Joshua and you know, Eddie Hearn are coming out with at the moment, saying that what the type of jury box, I believe Frank Wallet, in terms of what he said about, you know, they don't want it. I, I totally, I'm, I'm agreeing with uh, Frank on that, mate. I don't think they want it. I think it's all talk, I think it's all like, you know, just to keep the public sort of on their toes. Um, to get the fight on, mate, what do you think of the, 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 uh, the stage you split up in, in terms of to get him on if they wanted, though? What do you think of it would be? I think that uh, to get it on, yeah. the, they'd have to... Uh, they'd have to get rid of the sanctioning bodies, in my opinion, to get it on next. Otherwise, they're going to be paying step aside, and Tyson doesn't like parting with money. Matchroom don't like yeah. to part with money. People love step aside money because it's free money. But they'd have to pay Wilder yeah. and they'd have to pay Pulev. And of course, they'd have to pay Dylan White because they'd want the two fights back to back. So you've got three extra mouths to pay on, and then you've got to sell the fight. So I don't think it'll happen next. But if they wanted it to happen next, they'd have to drop all the belts. They said, right, them belts can go away then they can make it happen. But they've got a contract with Wilder, haven't they? Yeah. The IBF with Pulev can go away if they drop the belt. The Dylan White thing can't go away, can it? Or Dylan White could fight for the vacant belt, but Wilder has got a contract, he's tied in with him. Do you remember when Tyson Fury had a contract to fight Vladimir again after he beat him? Yeah. Now that shouldn't have happened because it were a mandatory. But they had it wrote into the contract. That were a mistake. Whoever did that, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it, but that was a mistake, right? So 
I think that it's a similar situation with Wilder and Fury at the moment. They've got a contract to fight again, but there's other opportunities. But if you've got it in a contract, people are just going to, it's going to end up in a legal mess, isn't it? The only people who are going to make anything are lawyers. So I think if they want to fight, they'd have to pay probably Wilder some money. I don't think they'd have to give Dylan White anything if they dropped the belt. Pool left, they wouldn't have to give him anything. The only person they'd have to pay is Wilder. And maybe Joshua could, could take the WBO, the IBO and the WBA into battle with Fury and leave the IBF and the WBC out of, out of it because they're the ones that are causing the problems and stopping the fight happening. But, but they're going to want the sanction fees, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think as well, mate, Well, you know when you're talking about TV companies, right? If Dennis yeah. is putting a, a show on with on Eurosport with yeah. Josh Whale and say another fighter, Fred Bloggs or whoever he is, TV are going to yeah. say, Dennis, it's more attractive if there's a belt online. Can you get a, a, you know yeah. a, a trinket belt, you know, intercontinental and international, or or any belt to just make it look more attractive for sponsors? Now, I don't think, sorry, I think that Tyson Fury against Anthony Joshua, who cares what belt it is, it's that big now, nobody's bothered at it, are they? It's just a fight, we want to see the fight. We're not interested in all these governing bodies because we know what they are, don't we? Yeah, you're probably you're probably right, mate. You're probably right, but the Eddie Hearn's just Eddie Hearn's saying they're going to have that fight twice next year, but he's been saying Dillian White's going to fight for WBC for three years, and Callum Smith is said yeah. saying with him, and they didn't. Fighters go where there is opportunities. When you're giving yeah. somebody a date, saying, "Don't worry, Dillian, you're going to fight February 2021 for WBC." Opportunities are arising now for Dylan White to do a two-legger, a UFC with that Nganu and a, and, a, and a fight in a boxing ring. So if them opportunities are massive for Dylan White, he won't be bothered about fighting for WBC, will he? Because he's interested in money, Dylan White. He's not interested in belts. I don't want to hear all this, I need me shot, I need me shot, I need me shot. You had ample opportunity to get to that shot. And he not took them chances. Dylan White's prom uh, prom bother Dylan White's motivated by money, so I don't want to hear any of this crybaby <laughs> about WBC. Don't want to hear it. It's a lot of old nonsense. Yeah, but they're going to go on YouTube channels and they're going to bellyache about title shots when they've knocked final eliminators back and they've knocked title shots for four belts at Wembley. It's becoming a tired old boring story. I've just had to, just had to sit this morning and watch 56 minutes of nonsense, nonsense spoke on yeah. there from Eddie Earn and Coogan, utter nonsense. I'm just what sick of it. About, that, um, that Frank Smith uh, interview uh, from I, I was watching this morning about something to do with Frank Smith's uh, 
the 32 minutes 17 seconds one. I think it is, mate. I'd sort of like sort of skim through it, like, you know, I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, so I can't be, I could be asked. But, like, if you just sort of crack to me and say, you know, you know, Joshua Fury, obviously, Joshua was the commercial A side and all this rubbish, so basically, I reckon they're probably handling 60 40, possibly. Well, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. We're talking boxing here. We're not talking selling T-shirts at the arena and hot dogs. We're talking boxing here, right? Joshua has been knocked out, right? And he fought. He fought like he, he was frightened to death in his last fight. But we can't. We we have to get around the fact that he's been knocked out. If they're saying it's a forty-sixty in their favour, they don't want the fight. There's two reasons why. There's two reasons why fights don't happen. One, the fighter don't want it, or two, the fighter tells the promoter to ask for crazy money. Tyson Fury is not going to take 40% to fight Joshua, is he? When he's uh, got the ring belt and the WBC, and Joshua's got all them belts that he's got that were on loan, because he didn't take them off Fury, did he? He's a paper champion, Joshua. Paper. So how can he be saying he's 60%? Who cares about that? We don't want to hear about all this commercial stuff. Make the fight. Fury, Fury, I don't, I don't, in my opinion, you know, I don't think Joshua will take 50% of that. I think he's going to want 64 or 55, 45, I think. Why, why would he? Why would he? Why would he? Why, would he? Why, would, why does he deserve? Tell me how he deserves that. Mate, I don't think he does deserve that. Like, oh, know, yeah, yeah. Fury's not lost yet, but I just think in terms of, they're going to just, all the narrative out of that, you know, you know, commercially, Joshua's the biggest star, you know, he's no, the no, biggest no. star in Africa, all this, all this bullshit, do you know what I mean? So I think that's what, that's what they're sort of cards that they're going to play, if they want to get this fight in 2022, that's what I think, that's just my opinion. 2022, you talking now? <laughs> yeah, mate, 2022, you think that's when this fight's going to happen, my, my, I think that's when it's going to happen, it's not going to happen in 2021, no, no chance. Well, look, let's just break this 60-40 thing down, right? Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. Joshua had four fights at the Olympics in London, his hometown, right? He only really won one of them, the Chinaman, didn't he? Out of the yeah. four. Do we agree on that? 100% mate, I agree with that one, yeah. Right, so we agree on that. So, he was gifted an Olympic medal, wasn't he? Right. Mm. Did he... Right, so then he's, he's gone with Eddie Hearn a year later, he's had stiff sort of way up. Now the IBF belt, he won that, but whose belt was it really? Well, whose belt was it? Plus he beat Charlie Martin, he's the worst champion in the, in the history of boxing, isn't it? Yeah, but who, who had the belt took off him? Oh, Fury. Right, so we agree that... So one of Joshua's four belts was Fury's, wasn't it, yeah? Right, the second belt, the WBO, who, who had that belt? Parker had the belt, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But Parker fought in a vacant fight with Ruiz like uh, Charlie Martin did with that guy when he fell over and did his knee. So they were vacant belts, so that's two belts that Joshua's got that were Fury's. Do we agree on that? Right, so when when Joshua fought Vladimir, they threw in the WBA and the IBO as well as vacant belts to go with the IBF because he didn't have the WBO then. Do we agree on that? We agree on that one, yeah. Yeah, Ruiz won the four belts off Joshua, but then Joshua got them back in Saudi. But who had the belts to start with? Fury. Fury, right. Did Fury lose the belts in the ring? No. Has Joshua been knocked out? Yes. Did he look shocking in his last fight? Terrible, man. Yeah, he looked absolutely shocking. Right. The fifth belt, the WBC, which is the Holy Grail, the best belt out of the five, who's got that belt? Fury the man. And did he rip that belt off the champion? Go ahead, yeah, mate. Did he rip the belt off the champion? Yes, he did. Right, so it weren't a vacant belt, it weren't a gift then, was it? He took it in his backyard like he did Vladimir's and he got the ring belt as well, so he's now the Lanille champion, do we agree on that? Yeah. 
So Eddie Hearn talk and Frank Smith talking 60% Joshua of the purse and, all, and everything else. Does that tell you that they're pricing themselves out of the fight at this moment in time? Right, they don't want the points. They don't want it. There you go. So forget anything happening like that. They're just going to try and big their man up best they can, which is fair enough, but the Tyson Fury knows, Joshua knows, Eddie Hearn knows, and little Frank Smith, a.k.a. Richie Rich. Hi, Frank. They know that Joshua loses to Tyson Fury. He gets mullered, mate, but they know that. That's why they wanted a two-fight deal. So it ain't going to happen yet, so all this hype and all this... This, this momentum that they're trying to build it up, they're going to build it up into a mad frenzy, but they might overkill it if it's 2022. That's my opinion. Well, when you think about that, when you think about that, mate, so, so like you said, obviously, Josh will be quite cooler uh, this year. Um, obviously, there, if you said it's all right, if obviously, whoever wins out of that, if we find them next, and he's talking about Helene, she said, did you know, obviously, that's going to be two fights in 2000. Joshua only fights twice a year anyway, doesn't he, really, to be honest? That's what I'm saying, mate. So, obviously, for example, the man that's mandatory defense, if you'll do that, and then the Fury fight will have to be 2022 early, 100%. On yeah. I think that's good, that's the case. That's, what that's, that's the route, that's what they're going down now. They want to, like you said, they want to get as much money as possible before, obviously, you know, Fury throws him. That's going to happen, mate, of course. They've got yeah, all these man. Early. They've got all these mandatories, aren't they, right? And th this is the problem you've got when you've got all the belts, but this is why the belts are the problem. All the belts need binning to make this fight. They've got to get rid of them belts. Fury wouldn't be bothered about getting rid of them. Do you know why? Because he's won everything now. He's only going over all yeah. ground now. If he wins, he's just got to keep paying san sanction fees. If you're getting millions and millions of pounds to fight, why should you give 3%? Of that to a sanctioning body. What if you've got five belts online? Are you going to give fifteen percent of all them millions to all these sanctioning bodies? If you're going to knock somebody out anyway, if he's going to knock Joshua out anyway, right? Why does he need to be paying fifteen percent to all five sanctioning bodies? If he's going to knock them out, he'd probably ne negotiate a fee with each one of them because the money's that big. But if he's going to knock Joshua out anyway, why does he need belts? Just bin them. And let's get at it and get the fight on. Do you think Fury's got the balls to do that though? I think Tyson Fury's got the balls to do it, yeah. Because he was treated like a dog by all them, by all them other yeah. belts. Why did they treat him like a dog, didn't they? IBF did, straight away. So, do you think then now, do you think obviously if this fight happens, Fury, Joshua, obviously if Fury wins, do you think he'll just, just continue to fight that in Vegas? If the fight happens, for me to give any of them any respect, it's got to happen at Wembley and then Old Trafford or Old Trafford and then Wembley. Why should the British public put up with them going to Saudi and New York? They're already multi-millionaires. So why, it'd, be a kicking, it'd be a kick in teeth, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the promoters will want that as well, but it just shows you what they think about the British public because they'll go over to Saudi and and then they'll say, we're having a homecoming. A homecoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah when, when Saudis... Look, the Saudis didn't want the Pulef fight, did they? Nah. So they made the fight in England, didn't they, the Pulef fight? So they were coming back for the Pulef fight with the tails between the legs. But now there's more money, they're going to go back to Saudi. We're all being played, aren't we? It's yeah, a business. Yeah. It's a money, it's a business, isn't it? Yeah. Circus, mate. Circus. So, that's how I look at it, anyway. Who just think's got the better CV out of Joshua and Fury? Who just think's got the better CV, in your opinion? Uh, 
Well, Joshua's beat the most world champions, hasn't it? But if you go through it all, you've got Charlie Martin, Povetkin, Vladimir, P Parker, and Ruiz. So he's beat five. Josh uh, Fury's beat Cunningham, a blown up cruiserweight who drops him. And he's schooled Vladimir and Wilder, so he's beat three. You could say it's similar, but Fury's got the better CV and he's won everything. And he's, he, he beat Vladimir, didn't he? A, t a nine and a half year world champion. And he beat Wilder, who was a five year world champion, in the back garden. So you've got to say Tyson Fury's got the better CV. And commercially, he looks massive now, doesn't he, Tyson? Sorry? Tyson's massive now. He's a mega, mega star, isn't he? He's not a superstar, he's a mega star, isn't he? Yeah. But I think with Tyson Fury, though, Well, Tyson won, he's won English, Irish, British Commonwealth, European, and all the world title belts, all five, and he's got two ring mag belts. So he's got the clean sweep, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what you have to give credit to is Mick Hennessy, because Mick Hennessy signed him, and nobody else wanted him, did they, really? That's the bottom line. Oh. Yeah. But he should have should, should gone to the Olympics, shouldn't they, Fury? Uh, they took David Price, didn't they? Oh, Jesus Christ. I know. Really? Oh, yeah, because they did, didn't they? Yeah, they took David Price, didn't David they, Price. instead of Tyson Fury. David Price got a bronze, but I believe Tyson would have won a gold that year. No, look, no, he's the Louis Ortiz of the division. Hergovic, they will swerve him. He's the bogeyman. You don't hear Dylan White mention Hergovic, do you? Do you get Dylan White mentioning Hergovic? No, he does. Guy's a bogeyman. Hey? Dylan White's in the 40s club, isn't he? He just fights 40 year old men. Yeah. Brown, Wack, and Povetkin are all over 40. Yeah, that Povetkin is very wrong, it looks good. Yeah, That's very good. Nastiness about him, they think. Very good, mate, he's very good. Do I see what? What do you think about Poppins having once in the big field one in the biggest contract in boxing? Do you see him reach his mail with his earnings by the time he's 14? Tyson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying he wants the biggest contract in boxing. Tyson Fury wants the biggest contract in boxing. Well, I say give him it because he's won everything, hasn't he? And he's undefeated. And he, he's, he's a big star in America now, isn't he? Um, I say give him it, if Bob Arum wants to give him it, give him it, he's with ESPN, is it? they on by Disney. If he deserves it, give him it, you've got to give him yeah. his credit, he's come back from a lot, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, um, what do you think about uh, Dylan White, um, where do you think Dylan White's career is going and do you, obviously, do you see him beating Povetkin? Yeah, I see him beating Povetkin, he's 41 year old, he's an old man now. Uh, I see him beating Povetkin, then I see the same old nonsense going on about his title shot and I don't see him taking it. I don't think he wants to fight Wilder. Uh, does he want to fight Fury? Maybe. I don't know, he'll get paid for that, won't he? I just want to see him do the job properly, go and get a European title and then go and get a world title. I don't want to see anybody cutting corners. We've all seen what happened with Dave Allen trying to cut corners, haven't we? There's no shortcuts to success. I think, though, mate, I think the probably why Dylan White ain't took 
can pick three or four million quid up fighting C-class fighters is going to do it in it but don't tell me you you're being shafted by WBC and other governing bodies for title shots when you're fighting people for no belts who are old men or people who can't speak English because he said he didn't want to fight Otis because he's uh, can't speak English well he fought Oscar Rivers he can't speak English yeah, yeah. I agree, um, man. Regarding what? Uh, uh, comments on purses. Two seconds. He's on that purse being loaned or something. You can't pay out as much as you did, as much as you did before. Two seconds. Two seconds. Let me just change the battery. Uh, Eddie Hearns comments on purses. Well, he's more or less trying to help, uh, trying to tell people that they're going to be fighting for for Nixes, isn't he? For nothing. And people will say yes, please. You're not going to be getting 10 grand now. Your fighter's going to get 5 grand. Yes, please, Eddie. It's like bo blockbusters, isn't it? B, what B? Yes, please, Bob. It's like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people are thirsty, you know what they mean? Do you know what I mean? People want to earn. So I think Eddie's obviously going to just lower everything. To be honest with you. Let me tell you something now, right? Do you know fighters now, what they're getting paid, right? Fighters are getting paid now for British title shots less than they were 25 years ago. Wow. So God knows what they're going to be getting now after this pandemic. Be fighting for buttons. Adam Smith? Yeah. Adam Smith keeps doing interviews saying, we in the boxing industry, what, what is he on about in the boxing industry? He works for a TV company called Sky Sports. So why does he keep saying, we in the boxing industry? I don't think he's respected, no. But I don't think anybody is going to tell him because they want to get on Sky. But people I speak to don't respect Adam Smith, not at all. But they're not going to say a word, are they? How can you respect somebody who, who went to private school like that? And he's trying, he's trying to act cool around people from, who've had, from council estates. People don't respect people like that. Adam Smith, I don't respect you. Don't come near me at a show if I see you. I don't respect him and other people I know don't respect him. But they're not going to tell him, are they? Well, he's got a bit of power there, hasn't he? Hasn't he at Sky? I know he's got a comb over, yeah. but... <laughs> him and Eddie. What do I think it... What, what, say that again, go on. Um, what's your take on uh, bringing up the Joshua Loss to Ruiz, saying you know the real reasons? What do you think Ern's angle is regarding that article that you put out? Well, they're trying, to, they're trying to give you an excuse but not tell you, aren't they? They're trying to say there was something wrong but we don't want to talk about it. When a fighter loses, there's always something wrong. They always look back and say, it was that, it was that, it was that. How about you just got it wrong on the night? Joshua got caught with a shot and he never recovered, did he? No. So. No. Um, what's your take on Cook pushing race related issues on IFL TV with Johnny Nelson? Well, if you're talking about the black fella that the copper put his knee on, his neck, and he died, I think that's it's a, a sad issue. But. You did, you, nobody spoke about any race or anything. There were no shouting about colour or anything in the, in the incident, weren't there? So I don't I don't really know. But 
this is how I look at it, right? Obviously, you know about my incident, don't you, when I got assaulted in the police car and my mate filmed it. Now, yeah. no was said about it and I was found guilty in court. We then had to get the, the footage to a judge for him to get me out uh, 15 days into my sentence. Now, and it was all swept away, wasn't it? But if I'd have been a black man, there'd have been hell on, wouldn't there? Footage of me being battered in a police car by a white copper, would there have been hell on? Of course there would, wouldn't there? No, no, and I hope that copper, I hope that copper gets strung up, because that copper for my trial at Crown Court, let me tell you this, when I come out of that court, they took pictures of me, and they put it on front page at uh, Sheffield Star. When that happened to me, that copper were, a couple of years later, he were exonerated, because he wore, uh, what was the word? They had, because I got not guilty on that, they still did me for drink driving, but, he, he had to go to like a hearing and he got uh, the fact nothing were wrong. Well, if nothing were wrong, why did the judge clear me of assault due to the evidence? Where were the camera inside the police car? Seven o'clock that morning, that police car, it were an Astra, was signed off as the camera working inside the car, right? And I got arrested after a chase, seven o'clock at night, but the camera weren't, weren't produced at my trial in magistrate because it weren't working. Well, luckily, we had our backup footage, didn't we? Which I never produced at Magistrates, but I produced it at Crown, you know, on my appeal. So I didn't think I'd need it. But bottom line is this, right? That bloke who died, is it George Floyd, Floyd, George Floyd, Floyd his name? That, that was shocking, that, wasn't it, what they did to that man? That copper wants stringing up, and so do his mates that were with him. The Chinese fella and them other two guys. They want stringing up and stoning in public. That's what they want, mate, for doing that. But it's been going on too long over that. Uh, too, it's been going on too long in America, hasn't it? Stuff like that. Yeah, mate. 100%, mate. That's so I don't agree with it, but... I think, I mean, that, that's the, the government over there in America, they need to do something about it, because I, I honestly think if they don't there's going to be a lot of Yeah, so I think that uh, I think that the copper wants stringing up. That's all I want to say on matter really. But it's it's an awful situation for that bloke's family, isn't it? Not very nice. But yeah, I don't want to see it on boxing channels, and I don't really want to talk about it on here. But we've covered it because they've all, all others have covered yeah. it, and let let's move on. But I hope that that fam bloke's family are going to be all right. Do I think what, sorry, Joshua against AJ? What did you no, say? Sorry, Joshua Boatsy. Joshua Boatsy. Against Anthony Yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it happen and why is AJ Hurt pushing for it now? They're pushing for it now because they know they've got to make domestic fights because we can't fly foreigners into the country, can we? Yeah, yeah. Unless they do a two week quarantine. Yeah. And who's gonna who's gonna put them up? Who's gonna put them up for two week in a, an hotel and pay for that? It's all got to be paid for. They have teams to come over, so you've got a fighting in one hotel, isolated. Somebody's got to pay for it for two week. His team, where are they gonna go? They've got to be put in another hotel. They've got to be fed and watered, picked up at airports and dropped off. It's all expense, isn't it? And only the big boys are gonna be able to do stuff like this. So. And Eddie earns the numbers, man. He won't want to be forking out for flying people over left, right, and centre, and, and and feeding and watering these people, food and beverage, and all that carry on. So he won't gonna make domestic fights. But who's Joshua Boatsy's best win? Can't there you go. Who's Yard's best win? You can't tell me that either, can you? No. There you go. So they've not got a best win between them, have they? Really? So it's not going to be pay-per-view, but you'd want to watch it, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's famous for fighting Cobbler, that's it really. I mean, 
Yeah. You got beat, you got knocked out. Yeah. Um, who do you saw as well as Can you see that in Rapping? One has the negotiations started as they are pretty much the same weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Billy Joe against who? Callum Smith? Yeah, why did not happen yet? Well, they both got the same promoter, they're both from England and it's not happened. Probably because they're both a bit unsure of each other. People will say Billy schools Callum, so that'll be in Callum's head. And people will be telling Billy that Callum knocks him out, so that'll be in Billy's head. So it's probably a 50-50 fight. So I prob I'd probably take Billy Joe to win on points, but it's a 50-50 fight and they don't want to risk it. But we had Nigel Benn against Eubank, so why not Callum Smith against Billy Joe? Both world champions in the same weight, both from England. It's a joke. It's got to happen, mate. Yeah, it's got to happen, mate. I'm just... It's got to happen. It won't happen, though, because they want to get to Canelo, don't they? That's the end result, Canelo. No, no. Like uh, Amir Khan waiting on Mayweather and Pacquiao and Kel Brook, it never happened. No, they're not happening at all. Well, Joe Gallagher has made himself a wealthy man navigating yeah. Callum Smith through choppy waters and you'd say that Joe Gallagher, if he were driving Titanic that night, he'd have avoided the iceberg, wouldn't he, Joe? Or sailing the Titanic, should I say? Because yeah, Callum Smith's been wrapped in cotton wool, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. A bit like Joshua. Callum Smith's got to fight John Ryder. Team Ryder! He's got to fight John Ryder before any hardcores give him any cred credibility. No? Well, I hope so. That's a word, mate. Um, can you see Dubois going to match room eventually? Dubois going to match room. Yeah, in the end, I think so, yes. I think so, in the end, yeah. I just think that Sky have got a bigger platform. And uh, I think after Joshua gets out of the sport, I think they'll pluck Dubois because he's their only option to stay in the sport then, isn't he, and be the number one. You've got to have the heavyweight champion of the world to be number one. That's what Joshua is. But there's also an elephant in room, Tyson Fury. So we're like that, aren't we? We don't know who's best. But I think once Fury and Joshua have gone, They'll all be battling to get the the bar, but I don't think it'll be for a few years yet. I don't think it'll be for I a few. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Joshua will be going quite soon. I think he's going to be fighting until he's forty plus. I do. Why? Why would you want to do that when he's already been knocked out? How much longer can they protect him if he's got a sh a, a chandelier for a for a for a jaw? Well, they all want to be billionaires, but once he's had a couple of more lickings, he'll want to get out of that game. I mean, fans are not going to put up with somebody fighting like he fought in his last fight. No way. He not last. He won't last with that style. That style won't get him another ten year. No chance. You're talking about the one where he's run the way in the Ruiz too. What are you talking about? Um, the brawling sort of style. The brawling style he's got, but he, Joshua's quite explosive, and if he wants to fight on back foot like that and sting Karina's out, phew, he's, what's he going to be? Another Vladimir? Stinkinator. Yeah. 
No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it. No? No, I, I just I can't because I just think as long as Josh is around, say I'm Josh, how old Josh would have? 31, is he? 30? Yeah. So it's kind of easy another 10 years. Yeah. Like I said, using the sport today, let's be honest, got another 10 years. Fury's going to probably be around for another 7, I'll say 6, 7 years. Um, so obviously with Frank and Dubois, Frank's gave him a massive platform now he's on BT Sports. Um, and he's obviously going to be the main man when he Fury goes. So I think Dubois, obviously I think he's going to be world champion. So if he's a world champion on BT Sport, why would he need to move the match room? Do you know what I mean? That means it's happen. Well, we're going to see. We'll have to wait and see, won't we, uh, Big V? Yeah, mate. Um, sorry, one more question. So, do you see Delhi delivering a world title shot in the next three years uh, for Tommy Frank? And if not, would he go to match room if offered the opportunity? Will Dennis get a world, champ, world title shot for who? Tommy Frank? Yeah, in the next, say, uh, three to four years, if he keeps winning, and if, and, and, and if Matt came along, would he go and offer the opportunity? Well, three to four years, Tommy Frank fights for a world title on September 11th. <laughs> so that's three months, isn't it? Oh, it might not happen. Uh, well, if it doesn't happen in September, it'll probably happen within a few months. But Tommy Frank's next fight will be a world title, IBO what world title. IBO. IBO, yeah. IBO. Mm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Do I think if Tommy Frank won an IBO and Matchroom came calling, calling, do I think he'd go? Uh, yeah, I think they would. I think they would. There's no love lost in boxing. There's none of this. Look, fighters, right? What they say is, oh, we're loyal with this, with that. But if somebody comes knocking and they've got more money coming and they get somebody in their ear, they'll go. It's, just, it's nothing personal against Tommy Frank. It's something Dennis would have to put up with, innit? I mean, Jamie McDonald won a world title with Dennis. Soon as Eddie Hearn come knocking, it will <laughs> it will wheel spinning out of out of out of Eddie, uh, Dennis's stable into Eddie's, won't it? It will burn in rubber like Pedro de la Rosso. So, and I think that that's what would happen with Tommy Frank. <laughs> He'd be like, "See you later, Dennis." So, but we'll, we'll see, I don't know, I some of the Steve Crump and Dennis would have to, and the sort, so I, I don't know, but look, fighters, but when it comes down to it, they'll burn rubber out of office and then they'll say, well, it's business, isn't it? It's a business, it's a business. They'll start giving it that, shaking their head. It's a business. And I've got to look after my family and, uh, you know, time's knocking on and all that crap. There's no loyalty, it's a dog. Business. If Eddie Hearn rings Tommy Frank up and says, Do you want to join Matchroom now that you're an IBO world champion? He will say, Yes, please. After ringing Glen Road, they'll say, Yes, let's go. And that's that. And then it'll be like, Well, Dennis, you did what you could with us. You took us so far, and we're going to go to the next level. That's the nature of the beast. But nobody wants to talk about it, do they? What we do on Porky's Corner. Hey? Have you got a manager? Has who got a manager? Tommy Frank, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a manager, yeah. Glyn Rhodes. Glyn Rhodes is his manager and he's something you'd have to ask Glyn Rhodes, but they'll have to they'll look after themselves, won't they? And quite rightly so. Look, if Tommy Frank gets an opportunity to go to match him, why would he want to stop with them? Would he stop with Den out of loyalty or would he, for earning X amount, or would he go to match him and earn loads more? What would you do? Well... I'm you know your job you do, right? Your job that you do, if you got asked to go somewhere else for four times more money, would you say, well, I'm going to stay in and be loyal to these, or would you go? I'd obviously go, wouldn't I? There you go. 
So that's something that they'll have to cross, but I'd put money on him going. So that's just that's just yeah. me. Because I don't, I, I don't, uh, I have an opinion, right, of people around money, right, and sometimes in the fight it's other people in their ears. But like I yeah. said, it's a business, and they can reel off all excuses. But my opinion is, he will burn rubber to get out of to get out of Sheffield to go to Essex. Probably, that shows you what happens. It shows you what happens in yeah. boxing, isn't it? That's the bottom line, isn't it? I mean, I might get a phone call over this video, but I'm just going to tell it straight. I think he'll go. Now, it's up to them to make sure that there's some tied down. If he does go, they'll get some out of it. So, I don't know. There's no handshakes in boxing. Handshakes don't mean nothing in your word. word people's word don't mean diddly crap. Don't mean diddly crap. Yeah. People come with smiles and then they get the knives out when you walk by them. So it doesn't mean crap. So look at Tyson Fury, McKennessy. Froch McKennessy. Eubank McKennessy. Darren Barker McKennessy. They all turned pro with McKennessy and had the debuts with him. And they, they all earned money with Mick and won titles, but look what happened. They all went to Eddie Hearn, didn't they, or Frank Warren? Well, this is how I look at it. Mick Hennessy can take strength from the fact that all them kids signed with him, right, and they're all world-class fighters, and don't forget, Yui signed with him from debut as well. So he can go out and find them, find the next next load of stars, can't he? He can do that, and they don't have to be Olympians, do they? But Eddie Hearn can't do that, can he? Because how many world champions has Eddie Hearn had from debut that have not been in the Olympic team? There's only Callum Smith, isn't there? And he missed the Olympic team by the thinness of his vest. He should have gone to Olympics, Callum Smith. So other than that, there's, who has he had? Did Charlie Edwards go to Olympics? He was Team GB, wanted Charlie Edwards, same as Callum Smith. So, how many world champions has Eddie Hearn had from debut who weren't from the EIS up here, the lottery funded EIS? The answer is zero. Zero. He had Katie Taylor, didn't he, as well? She was from Olympics. So, you can't say Terry Harper because she was with Steffi Bull and she'd already won a world title before match and go it. So who who is there? There's nobody. It's alright having a conveyor belt and a platform with Sky and all these YouTubers hanging out the back of you and comping all the people who are famous to good at shows will give them comp tickets because they'll tweet about the show. It's alright having all that on a plate, but what has Eddie Earn done with anybody? Like a Clinton Woods, a Jamie McDonnell, a, 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 a Frotch, a Eubank. Do you know what I mean? What has he done yeah. with any of them? Yeah, yeah. He, he's not, he's not, what, what did he do with Darren Barker? Yeah, he got Darren Barker world title, but Mick Hennessy did all heavy lifting, didn't he? British Commonwealth European from debut. Eddie's not, he's had it on a plate. Let's see Eddie Hearn do something with, say, Isaac Lowe. Go take somebody like Isaac Lowe on, get him a world title. What has he done with Boatsy and Akoli? He's not delivered for them yet, has he? Akoli stumped more arenas out than Joseph Parker and Johnny Nelson put together. And Boatsy, nobody even knows who his best win is. He, he went to the Olympics, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to see, aren't we? Exciting times ahead. This is why we love this sport so much, Johnny! <laughs> that one's for Fury Power, who, who keeps texting that comment on the thing. So. I 
I don't know, that's something you'd have to speak to Dennis or Steve Crump about. I don't like to, talking about Tommy Tommy Frank's path, you'd have to speak to his manager, Glyn Rhodes. But if he wins the world title, in my opinion, if Eddie Hearn comes knocking, or any other big hitters with big money, they will go. And that's the nature of the beast. But I don't know, but I'd like to see Tommy win a world, Frank, because I know that there's been some effort put in with him. But I don't think Dennis has had him from debut. I don't think so. I think he'd had a couple of fights before he went to Dennis. But if Dennis can deliver, and I think he will, that's good, isn't it? But like I said, if he gets a knock at the door, he'd be gone. And, um, what can I say? So obviously, do you think, obviously, like you said, if obviously if you win this IBO World title, or whatever, um, do you think in terms of like, do you think he'll just go on defending them? Well, I'd, I'd like to think he could defend it in Sheffield and build a fan base up and be a bit of a celebrity in Sheffield. I'd like to see that for him, and I know Dennis is like that, but he's, he's, he's something I can't comment. And he's got to win it first, hasn't he? We've got to get this pandemic out way. It could be a year away, yeah. We don't know. It could be six months. Could be September. We don't know, but I want to see him fight Sonny Edwards first. We got to, got to, got to fight Sonny Edwards personally, but we'll see. Yeah, I would like to see him. I would like to see him up his social media. Yeah, but he's not controversial, and he's he's uh, he's a, just a nice kid, isn't he? I suppose he's not going to stay out controversial. He's a bit he's a bit media trained, if you ask me. He's a bit clean cut, isn't he? Like a boy band, Tommy. But he's a nice enough kid, and you never know. He might get Sonny Edwards at the right time and knack him. We don't know, do we? Um, yeah, right, of course not. All right then. Is that alright Is that alright for you today? Sorry again, mate. Have you got, is that it? Is that it for questions? Yeah, mate. I'm a club with that, yeah. Yeah, good questions then. You're very thorough. thorough. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, mate, it's just like I said, I'm still learning. Um, but obviously, there's plenty of things that I can improve on. Yeah. Brilliant. All right then. Well, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing, Big V. Cheers, mate. Give your missus my regards as well. Tell her I said hello. I will do, mate. All right. You take care, mate. You too. Cheers, pal. Bye, bye. Right. Now that were a grilling one it from Big V. Uh, I enjoyed them questions. Uh, good boxing bloke. Good boxing bloke, Big V. Uh, putting me on the spot there with a few of them, wasn't he? Good to see. Uh, all the rest of you will have to up your game, won't you? Ozzy Smith and all the rest of you. Smiddo. Big Dale Nichols from Brummy. Or is it Wolverhampton? Oh, you Wolverhampton, you ain't Dale. You'll have to up your game, otherwise we'll have to... Get Stig to make a comeback. <laughs> the Stig. So, alright. So, peace out. You liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>